To be a Navy diver, first you have to pass dive school. They prepare you for the worst. Exhaustion, muscle fatigue, gear malfunctions, all underwater. So when it comes to this dangerous job, you've got to be fit for duty. Navy divers of Mutsu One at Pearl Harbor can't get enough. Three days a week, Navy divers will train together as a unit twice a week on their own, and Mondays are like a slap in the face from the weekend. This is a run, swim, run. So they'll incorporate some circuit training, lunge to the end of the pier, dive in, swim for about 300 yards. They'll do it about three times until they're completely exhausted. Just the transition. Your legs don't want to move for some reason after you get out of the water and vice versa. So yeah, it is tougher. Let's go, Salas! All the way down! For our job, it's very important because the more body fat you have, it's going to increase your likelihood of getting decompression sickness while you're diving. For that reason, and also our job's pretty arduous anyway, so you need to have fairly good endurance and strength. Navy divers are an elite group within the Navy, even more elite, the females that join them. I mean, look, I'm, look at me. I'm 120 pounds, five foot. And I'm doing stuff that six foot tall guys are doing. Melissa Nguyen remembers her first visit with her recruiter. The first thing he said to me was, can you do pull-ups? <laughs> so I got up there, I did like five or six, and he's like, have you ever thought about being a diver? Tough. Yeah, she's tough. She gets me going because every time I see her behind my shadow, I gotta push a little bit harder. In high school, I was doing soccer, track and field, and um, cross country skiing. Nguyen is among the less than 1% of women qualified as Navy divers. We all look out for each other, but at the same time, you know, we're always trying to compete against each other, and God forbid they let me beat them because then they <laughs> won't hear the end of it, so. Navy divers are a cohesive unit trained to work in one of the world's harshest environments, not only underwater, but on it, even during a biological or chemical attack. And many wear their colors with pride. Their motto, we dive the world over, to help recover veterans lost at sea or civilians involved in a disaster. They clear ports and reefs of stranded vessels like the tsunami thrash ships devastated in Japan. And most importantly, they make sure America's largest Navy in the world stands ready to respond. A duty Navy divers are proud of. And for those fit enough to serve, their amphibious family awaits. It's doable. Like, if you have your mindset to it and you want to do it, you can do it. So the next time you hear of a beached vessel, sunken wreckage or crash site, a rescued sailor, or just see a large ship pull into port, there's likely a Navy diver to thank. Reporting from Pearl Harbor, Ramsey Wharton, Hawaii News Now.